Welcome back. It awaits us. It's over there. Waiting for us. Fontaine, look at it. You can see the waterfalls. It's lovely. Now, I thought this was going to be the location we had to start from. I was kind of off. I saw a path going up here. I thought, oh, that'll be where it is. No, nah, it's, it's over there. It's over there. So let, let, let's head over there and see what we've got going on. It'll be a great view. Ooh, that's how I feel, Paimon. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Wow. Wow. Oh, we got to get that viewpoint. Look at this. Look at that. I mean, the, the, we need the time of day change, don't we? Let's, let's change the time of day. Change the time of day. Because we're at nighttime at the moment. So let's go. Yeah, the sun coming up. The sun coming up. That's what, that's sort of what we want here. Dawn. Ooh, I like where the sun could be at this point. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Right, so, um... How do we get there? That's a good question. But, let's first look at this, Let the though. magic begin! Because, all we have to do is invite to obtain. So, invite. Boom! New character. Lynette. There we go. Let the magic begin! Let the magic begin. So, we got Lynette already. That's cool. Thank you so much. Let's let's have a look at Lidnet before we start doing anything. All through my characters. Yeah. Where are you? You're going to be right at the end. I should have gone the other way. You are right at the end. So where are you? Where are you? I'm not used to seeing them at the top, so I don't know what their little character thing looks like. There you are. Lidnet. So... What kind of skills have you got? In sword, there's a weapon there, constellations, talents. Four rapid strikes. Licks her mantle and executes an enigma thrust dealing animo damage. Oh, okay. Hmm. Might be interesting in using this character in future. It depends, because I've got plans with the characters I want to use in future. But anyway, how do we get down? How do we get there? I imagine we meant to follow that road. Sort of path sort of thing going there. Steady. We don't want to end up in too much trouble there. It can't just be swim across, can it? Although we do have a wave rider down there though, so... Ooh, let's have a look at the little turtles! What have we got going on here? Oh, they went into their shells. That's cool. I'll leave them be. You're right, mate. Don't you worry about it. We'll leave you be, mate. We'll leave you be. Not going to harm you if I don't have to. If you attacked me, different matter entirely. But all right, let's get an old wave right up. Let's go. Wonder whose boat this is. You know, we should look at the map as well. Although we will get the map when we go up there and get the... ...statue. Oh, it's exciting. It's a new area. I was going to fire several of them, but I forgot it has a cooldown. There were going to be fireworks, it was going to be exciting, and then it's just... No. Ooh. There's a hydro thingy there. Right, can I... Go up this way. Will this work? Bosh. Nope. Ruined it. Hi guys. Harbor security. <sighs> Only the dog was this quiet at home. The dog is is fully dressed up. That's yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh this. This straight away reminds me of Bioshock. Go to Romary Time. Romary Time? Harbor? Upper level? Towards Fontaine. Ah. Let's go! 
Very Art Deco kind of design going on. Reminds me a bit of Bellabog. Just got that kind of feeling to it at this point. How long does this take? A while, apparently. A while. Oh, here we are. Oh, look! There's the big tree! No time to lose. There's where we were. Oh. The world opens itself before those with noble hearts. So I want to see this area. I want to see... I want to see from here. Now, now we've got that available. Where's a good vantage point? I want to see, like, from here. I want to see... A oh, you would, yeah. I forgot about that. Uh, did light just start flooding from the Statue of the Seven just now? Did it? That's so weird. Did anything like this happen before? It's normal for a Statue of the Seven to glow. Twitter, you didn't feel uncomfortable at all. Huh? Water. The water is speaking to me. I feel like I'm using gills to breathe. Good for you. First try growing a pair of gills and show Paimon. Hmm. Seems like you're feeling pretty good. Paimon can't believe Paimon was actually worried about you for a moment there. No, after it lit up like that, the air does feel a lot more humid. Maybe it's because of all the hydro energy that was released? <laughs> Paimon heard that in Fontaine, if you can use elemental energy properly, you can even swim underwater. Maybe you can even find sunken treasure. Paimon will leave diving for treasure to you. Paimon will stand on the shore and wait for you. It will be lonely going underwater alone. That one's a bit harsh. Like, you could try doing something for once, Paimon. That's harsh. Ah, uh, but, but being in the water is scary. What if Paimon accidentally gets swept in a current and gets all turned around and dizzy, and then she won't be able to fly away no matter what? Just like before Paimon met you, back in Mondstadt. Then I'll fish you out again. Really? Th then maybe can Paimon can try going underwater with you. Hm. You better not go back on your word. Alright, Fontaine's Blessing, a mysterious power that flows out from a statue to imbue you with the blessing of the transoceanic source water. Oh my. Your progress will remain unhindered so long as you are moving through the lakes of Fontaine. So only on Fontaine, okay. Under the protection of the transoceanic source water, what you expend while moving underwater is not stamina, but aquatic stamina. Okay. As such, when your aquatic stamina is expended, you will not drown. What will happen then? That's my question. Just, just look across there, like the waterfalls. I want to see this area from different aspects of the world. So like here. What does Fontaine look like from here? Can we see? It? Yeah, there you are. Lovely. Lovely. Hmm. Alright, where else could we go? Let's try... Where's a good vantage point? That'd be a good vantage point. And there you go again. All the way over there. Cool. Cool. Uh, where else could we go? Let's see about way... Let's try and get there. Because I'm just so curious. And you can see it in the distance there. I don't think there's much need getting closer there because I won't be able to get a good grasp of everything over there. Better than we can here. There's Celestia up there still. Right. So, what have we got open up here? Ooh. We'll have a look at that at a later date. For now, let's go back to Fontaine and see what we've got going on. Let me see about getting that. I mean, what's, what, 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 what's this? What's this? What are you? A boss? You sometimes encounter teleport waypoints in domain entrance map pins bearing such sub icons. Yeah, these symbols indicate that the destination is located in a multi layered area. Yeah, yeah, we figured that. After you unlock the corresponding map layer, you can interact with said pins to open the corresponding sub map. Yeah, because this was an issue in Sumeru, I found, like trying to navigate the underground areas for the quests. It was difficult because we didn't have a map. 
that corresponded to where we were. But now we do. Use the layer markers on the right of the map interface to switch between layers within the same group or select the big icon to return to the top level map. When browsing map players, any sub icon on the map pins for the current layer will appear in bright blue. Dotted lines will be used for indicators, quest targets, event targets, etc. that are not located in the current map layer. Oh, that's cool. Additionally, when an area in the center of the map contains different layers that you have previously entered, you can use the layer switching marker to swap over to the corresponding map. Okay, so that's what we've got there. So... Ah, so I can't just do that. So let's have a look down here, like areas we've been to previously over, over here. So for instance, all of this. All of this. So like here. Yes, look at that. That's cool. So I need to be on that one so I could see. Oh, look at that. That would make it so much easier. Oh, well, I've done all that stuff now. But yeah, that, that, would, that would make that so much easier. Oh, I like that. I do like that quite a bit. Anyway, Fon Fontaine, that's an important message. Oh. Anyway, I I Fontaine, yes. We'll get to places eventually. All I've gone to is here so far. <laughs> that's all I've done. Just gone straight to it. Right, what we got here? What? Ooh, magazines? Wait for the Aquabus. Alright. After a while. Oh, hello. Hi, Droculus. There you go. And you are? Hello there, dear passenger. Is there anything I can do for you? Uh, when does the Aquabus head out? Uh, oh, right. It's time to go already, isn't it? Is it? Oh, apparently. Oh, I like this. I like this quite a bit. Welcome to the Clementine Line Aquabus. This boat tour will take you to the magnificent Court of Fontaine, the most important city in our nation. I'm Aval, and I'll be your tour guide for this trip. Even though I'm not as reliable as Elfan from the Navia Line, I'll still do my very best. And if you're dissatisfied with anything, feel free to let me know right away. Oh, wait a sec. It's, uh, please contact a staff member with your feedback after reaching the station, and we will address your concerns as soon as possible. Back on topic, the destination of this trip will be the Court of Fontaine. Um, if you'd like to learn more about the latest technological developments in Fontaine, the hottest new trends in cuisine, or upcoming sensational trials, please subscribe to the Steambird. Steambird? That's what Charlotte was part of. What's that device up there? There's one down there as well. There's several of those devices. Oh, look at that. Are we heading the whole way there? This is a nice way to introduce an area. Like a little tour. It's very, very nice. I'm liking it quite a bit. The Steambird runs lots of fantastic serialized novels including the thriller Great Detective Herlock, which recently reached its dramatic conclusion. Right at the very end, Herlock faces off against the real mastermind, revealed to be the assistant, Miss Jacoba, in a duel at the old site of Lilia Cruces Ordo. I couldn't stop my feelers from shaking. Oh no, did I spoil it for you? Oops. Anyway, coming up ahead on your left-hand side is Marisee Village, the hometown of all Melusines, myself included. It's deep below the ground, just over there. Deep below the ground? Interesting. What's that swirly thing on top of that building? Also, Herlock Schlomes, I'm imagining. We will now pass through Poisson Tunnel. Now that I think about it, very few people tend to take this line. Hmm, maybe it's because humans don't really like deserts? After all, the most popular route in and out of Fontaine is through Liyue's Chenyu Vale. I've heard 
at that in places with lots of sand? Even Clockwork Mecca will start to malfunction. I mean, no rational person would try to cross a vast, hot, and dry desert to get to Fontaine, right? Ah, uh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to imply that you were irrational. <laughs> it's okay. So wait, there's a way to get here from... Standing here. Lee away. I mean, I have to look instantly. Hmm. This here's Lee away. No, that, that, that's, that's Samari. I don't see anything new. Hmm. So would it be here-ish? I'm not sure. I'll have to check the other lines later. Whenever I can. What's going on over there? Like right there. What's that about? Hmm. Keep wanting to jump off things and go like, get that thing there. At least I can point at things so you can see what I'm on about. Be like, oh look at this place. Where was that building we saw? Whoa! Yeah, that one. That's what I was referring to when I was saying, where was that building we saw? Sorry, what? I wasn't listening. I was chewing at birds. Speaking of... No, I want the meat! Oh. Sunset. Ooh! Look at them! Kill it! Did I get it? I don't know. Anyway, Fontaine. Oh no, I almost forgot. Ahem. While aboard the Aquabus, please keep your head, hands, and other body parts, as well as your canes, swords, cameras, and other personal items inside the boat at all times. The Aquabus operator bears no responsibility whatsoever for any injury or loss incurred as a result of disobeying the rules. Um, maybe it's a bit late for the disclaimer. Anyway, I'm happy you've had an incident-free journey today, and it was my pleasure to serve as your tour guide for this trip. Thank you! That's perfectly alright. I'm just thinking about the birds I shot. Welcome to Fontaine! Am I meant to get off that way? How could I get off the back? I don't know. Welcome to the court of Fontaine. All these buses. <laughs> And ships. Could I travel to other locations? Not sure. Let's let's go in the elevator. Ooh. I'm not sure where I'm meant to get. What what quest do we have? Go with that, because then we'll get some idea where we're meant to be going. So what's this one? Soloist. Maybe I should have started there. Let me find a way for- I've ended up in Fontaine, it's like, oh wait, there's a quest, isn't there? <laughs> find a waypoint, we'll get it, and then we'll go get the quest. Oh dear, I was so excited to get to Fontaine, I completely forgot we have quests. That's a thing, there, no there. We'll get that. And then we'll be back quickly, I imagine. <laughs> I've got a side quest before anything else. We'll be doing the side quests in videos, by the way. Just so you know. The world opens itself before those with noble hearts. Oh, look at that! So pretty! Still, how do you get to Leeway? Hmm, because I was thinking maybe this headed off towards Leeway, but no, it just comes around here. 
Maybe it's something we'll find in the future. Like, where does this go? Just ends. Ooh, it doesn't just end. Looks like something's gone wrong there. Interesting. Okay, okay. Right, so... Um... How many do I need there? 20. Okay. Right, before we explore Fontaine, let's go pick pick up the quest. Let's... Let's, let's go do that. <laughs> Can't believe I completely forgot there is quests in this game. Because I was so excited to go to Fontaine. Why do we have to start here? I don't know. Anyway. Oh look, Sumeru! <laughs> That's a nice area. Good old caravan we bought. Huh. Now let Paimon think. What were we up to the first time we came here? Oh, Paimon remembers. Nahida's consciousness had been trapped by the doctor, but we followed the clues she left behind to help her. Good memory, Paimon. I guess we may have stumbled upon this place at some point before. So much time has already passed since then, and it seems Sumeru is changing for the better now that Nahida's in charge, right? Paimon just hopes this peace will last a long time, and then Nahida won't have any more new problems to deal with. Yes, but as long as we're around, it's hard to say what will happen. Yeah, guess you're right. Hmm. We somehow always find ourselves right in the thick of it. Who knows what will happen next? Yeah, maybe a whole new area will open up. I doubt that, though. Come to think of it, maybe it's all because of you. Maybe you're just a magnet for trouble. Maybe it's you. I was just thinking that you might be the problem, Paimon. She was super tired. Paimon got caught in some strange whirlpool and sucked out into sea. And even then, you fished Paimon out. <sighs> anyway, for Nahida's sake, maybe we should think about heading to our next destination for now. We've already been there, but anyway, next stop, Fontaine. Ah, look who it is. Running into you in a place like this? I can see you two still love wandering around. Well, that's why they call me the Wanderer. No, wait, the Traveler. Oh, it's Dia! Hmm, since when are we just wandering around? We're usually taking care of some serious business. Even though it may have nothing to do with our journey. But never mind that, what brings you here? I just finished a commission in the desert for a usual client of mine. Nothing too interesting. Just escorting a shipment of goods. I'm on my way to report back. That's when I saw you two all the way over there, chatting away. What were you two talking about, anyway? We're preparing to leave Sumeru and head to Fontaine. Oh? Huh? Y you serious? Can't say I saw that coming. Hmm, but you are travelers, after all. I guess you'd never stay for too long in one place. Bumping into you like this will become a rarity. Ah, I'm starting to feel sad just thinking about it. Hey, how about I gather a few mercs to escort you two? What do you say? Thanks, but no need. Oh, Paimon had no clue you'd miss us so much. But don't worry, we'll come back to see everyone when we get a chance. <laughs> Sounds good. All you need to do to get to Fontaine is cross this stretch of desert and navigate some waterways. Knowing you two, I'm sure it won't be anything you can't handle. Yeah, I I think we'll be okay. So, uh, when are you leaving? I already left. <laughs> that journey should be spontaneous. Oh, wait a sec. Paimon just remembered there are still a few dishes in Sumeru that Paimon hasn't tried yet. Now, where's that list Paimon made? Hmm. What? I see. Guess you won't be needing a going away party or anything. It's sad enough to see you go like this. Though, now that I think about it, Sumeru wouldn't be what it is today without you. Seems true heroes always prefer leaving quietly. <laughs> by the way, should we go say bye to Nahida? In her case, she'll know from our dreams anyway. Oh, good point. 
no need to bother her in the real world. Aww. Then, I guess this is goodbye for now, Traveler and Paimon. Whether as a client or a friend, you're always welcome to come find me. Take care. See you around, dear. Goodbye, dear. Bye-bye, Sumeru. Hello, Fontaine. Uh, again. After settling matters in Sumeru, you approach the border with Fontaine. Oh, where could that be? Oh, look! It's... Oh, look, it's Fontaine, everyone! This new and wondrous area! I wonder how we get there and... Oh, the waterfall goes over there as well. I wonder why there is waterfalls like that, though. Right. How have I not got that one? I don't... I don't know. I don't... That wasn't there before, was it? Right, so let's go there and then jump off. Just very unconventional. Now I don't need to use the elevator. I'll just jump off and glide down. Yeah. Ooh. I forgot it was a door. No time well. to lose. That's fine. All right, here we go. <laughs> just done this a roundabout way completely. Fontaine. Yeah. Oh dear. Fontaine's port! Wow! Everything looks so advanced in Fontaine! Paimon's heard that the industry here is extremely developed, and there are all kinds of unusual machines! So I heard. And it's about what I imagined. Just seeing the sights as a tourist is nice, but maybe it would be better if we found something to do! What do you think? Uh, I mean, we've been here before. Let's start by meeting the Hydro Archon. Good idea! Nahida gave us loads of useful information. Did she? Seeking out the Seven is probably still our best source for information at this point. Our journey is to find my sibling, but also the truth. Yeah! The more we can learn, the better. So, what do you think the Hydro Archon's like? Will we get along? Nahida said that she has a very unique personality, whatever that means. To learn about a nation's god, start with the nation's people. There seems to be some locals talking over there. Let's go see if we can join the party. Maybe they'll point us towards a bus of some sort. If you ask me, it's a tragedy how things ended for him. Clearly, he was a pretty decent person. Yeah, I didn't expect that kind of ending for him. I thought he would at least fight on a little longer for his family. I was expecting a sudden plot twist, but it's a pity that it never happened. Still, his story is quite the tearjerker. Uh, excuse me. Can I help you two? I couldn't help but notice you standing here listening. We do that. We're travelers new to Fontaine, and we had something we wanted to ask, but you seem to be really busy talking about some kind of play, so we didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> we did spot someone standing near the water over there, though. A uh, play? Oh, no, no, no. We're talking about something that really happened. In fact, it's a case that was just heard a few days ago. Really? Like, a real trial? But the way you were talking about it and the words you used just now made it sound like some kind of story. Well, good tales are often based on true stories, aren't they? And what you see in reality may also be someone deliberately putting on an act while harboring ulterior motives. Whether something is true or not simply isn't that important. The main thing is whether the story being acted out on the stage is splendid enough. Oh, but it looks like you're not from around here. You probably don't know that the Fontaine Court of Justice is called the Opera Epicles, or more commonly known as just the Opera House. So they see Charles as a sort of opera. Okay. But, uh, shouldn't court cases be treated a little more seriously than that? Not to question Fontaine's way of doing things, it's just that putting someone on trial is usually a very serious thing. <laughs> no worries. Other visitors to Fontaine have wondered the same thing. You could say that we just don't want to waste the moving stories behind those cases. 
And as for your worries about whether the cases are treated with due reverence, we have the absolutely just and honorable Chief Justice Neuvillette, as well as the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, a machine created by the Archon. Between the machine and the Chief Justice, false charges and injustice are a thing of the past now. A judgment device created by the Archon. So this is the Nation of Justice. And water, I imagine. Pure trees? Is it some kind of machine too? Oh, Paimon's curious. We should check it out if we get the chance. Wait, Paimon almost forgot to ask you a question. Um, do you know what we should do if we want to meet the Hydro Archon? Oh, that's easy. Just go to the Opera House. Lady Farina practically lives there. You could definitely say it's her biggest passion. Huh. I think what they mean is that they wish to speak with the Archon personally. In that case, I'm afraid it's going to be a tad more difficult. You'll have to make an appointment well in advance, and it'll depend on whether or not she has any time slots available. Make an appointment? Time slots? Huh. Is the Hydro Archon super busy taking care of official stuff? Wait, didn't you say that she's always at the Opera House? No, no. Lady Farina seldom takes an interest with the nation's affairs. The reason it's difficult to make an appointment is simply because she's incredibly popular. That's right. After all, she is the Archon. Though she may tend to get a little dramatic from time to time, people can't get enough of her. Huh. First time Paimon's ever heard of an Archon being described that way before. <gasps> Wait! Paimon gets it now! Archon is kind of like a big celebrity here, right? Yeah, I suppose you could say that. <laughs> Perhaps you could even say our mascot. Ooh. Hang on. This is still Fontaine's Archon you're talking about. You should show some more respect. Yes, you're right. I guess I should at least try to be a little more respectful in front of visitors. Otherwise, I might get arrested and find myself face to face with Monsieur Neuvelette. <laughs> Come on. Sure, there's a lot of laws here, but nobody's going to be arrested for saying something disrespectful about the Hydro Archon. Seems like the people of Fontaine really like the Hydro Archon, but they don't appear to revere her. Hmm. At least we now know that we can find the Hydro Archon at the Opera House. But who knows how long making an appointment will take? <sighs> Guess we could have a look around the city in the meantime. Hey! What are you looking over there for? There's a girl over there. She's been standing alone for quite some time. Huh. Maybe something's the matter. <gasps> She isn't going to jump into the water, is she? Uh, maybe we better go check on her. Maybe. There we go, we've started it up now. So, Lynette, what's going on here with you? things, actually. But there's nothing I can do but just keep my troubles to myself. I was just reminiscing about a place my brother and I would play when we were kids. It was just atop that hill over there. See? Uh, you're pointing at the sea. <laughs> Wait, are you saying that you and your brother lived in the water? Eh, maybe the mermaids are a fantastical race from Fontaine. Like a sea slug or something. No people call the waters around Fontaine a sea. It's actually just an inland lake that's filled with fresh water. And no, I can still see that hill clearly in my memories. Now, it's been completely submerged. He would skip and jump, tossing sand in the wind. The sun shone brightly, 
and the air was filled with the scent of the sea. But now, the water is gradually swallowing our memories. <sighs> it won't be long before it swallows us. Uh, sorry, Paimon doesn't really get what you mean. Ah, I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. Are you Lynette's new friends? Oh, and you are? Thanks for looking after my sister. She often comes here to reminisce about our childhood, that's all. There's no need for any concern. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Linny, and this is my sister Lynette. If I had to guess, I'd say you must be travelers from abroad. Nice to meet you! Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler! We just arrived in Fontaine! We were just talking with your sister. Uh... Even though we didn't really get what she was saying. Hmm, I see. It's unusual for Lynette to be so willing to talk with anyone. In fact, she seldom speaks at all. I'm usually the only one she ever talks to. Oh, really? Then you two are just like us! Paimon's always the one talking for some reason. I mean, there is a reason. There's hardly anything left for me to say with you around, Paimon. Because you always steal my lines. <laughs> so that's how you think it is? Oh, yeah. I also think my brother can be too talkative at times. Oh. <laughs> Seems you were right, Paimon. We are quite similar. <laughs> so, what did Lynette mean just now when she said that the water is engulfing your memories? And that it won't be long before it engulfs you too? Oh, that... It's from a prophecy that's been circulating in Fontaine for some time now. Well, I suppose prophecy isn't exactly the right word, because that implies a certain amount of uncertainty. There's no doubt about what's happening in Fontaine now. Oh? And what is happening in Fontaine? Where to begin? Hmm... Let's put that question on hold for a moment. We still haven't formally greeted each other yet, have we? Uh, did all the introductions earlier not count? Nope. Hello, Traveler. How do you know of me? Hello, Linny. It's a pleasure to meet you. And hello, Paimon. <laughs> Please, don't take offense. Just consider it a sort of etiquette we have here in Fontaine when making new friends. You should remember it. It might prove useful. Oh, alright then. Well, Paimon's just happy to have a local friend now. By the way, we were just getting ready to go to the Opera House to meet the Hydro Archon. Would you be able to show us the way? <sighs> so you're going to see Lady Farina? No problem at all. In fact, I was planning to go to the Opera House later myself. I'll gladly take you once I finish things here. Please, follow me. So... There's going to be something more going on with them. Where are you taking us? Just follow you? Would have expected more to be said at this point. I mean, my wave rider's still here, so. Okay, come on, come on. Uh, you said you were going to see Lady Farina? Well, it seems Lady Farina has come to see you. Huh? Oh my. Why are you up there? Her. 
My dear people, rich and poor, those with cup in hand and those with nothing at all, raise your glasses in celebration! If you don't have one, then just raise your hand in lieu. Hey! And there was much rejoicing. Yes, clap, 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 yes. <laughs> As you can all see, two unfamiliar travelers have arrived in our nation. Come, let us make a toast in honor of this traveler and his companion, who have journeyed here from distant lands. Yes, clap clap. Oh, I like your hat. Uh, is she talking about us? Nobody here seems to be holding a glass. I've long heard of the turmoil and chaos you've left in your wake as you visited other nations. But I welcome you nevertheless. No, I have come to receive you personally. Fear is for insignificant cowards. I am a god, and I will never entertain the notion of such meaningless wariness. You can be rest assured. I see clearly your sincerity. I am very much liking her design, the water droplets in her eyes there. That's a good idea. Of course, seeking an audience with me is the most sensible thing to do. It will allow you to truly behold my power and witness my authority. Intelligent people always gather under the <laughs> correct banner. I... Fosalor, hereby welcome you to the nation of Hydro and acknowledge the value and significance of your trip. Now, you may rejoice in this. Oh, yes, yes, haha, <laughs> yes, yes. Well, finding the Arkham was easy enough. Yeah, Paimon still can't believe it. Feels like we've only been here for a few minutes. But the Hydro Arkham's entrance was, uh, how should Paimon describe it? A little over the top? Ahem. <clears throat> uh, Miss Hydro Archon, how did you know we were coming? Ah, I see. As Outlanders, you inevitably lack even some of the most basic understanding. Don't forget that even the gods can be divided into the mediocre and the excellent. I suppose it's only natural for you to be awestruck by my abilities. You had best stop and consider. Do you really have the noble qualities and etiquette necessary to communicate with a god? All it takes is a flick of my finger for me to know everything about you. Everything? Whoa. Talk about sounding high and mighty. Feels like she can't get over herself. Wait, did she hear that? Oh, what's with these looks? Perhaps the welcoming ceremony still isn't enough? Hmm, what else should I say then? Uh, is she waiting for us to start talking? I don't talk. Wow, I didn't expect to see Lady Farina here. What a surprise! Wait, does this mean they're the legendary blonde traveler? How did I not notice before? Hey, what's all the commotion? Oh, is that Lady Farina? Is there some kind of drama going on? Of course. That's the blonde traveler. The one all those stories are about. Lady Farina came here to personally see him. Oh, I bet this is going to be the duel of the century. D duel? You say duel? Oh, I've got to see this. I knew Lady Farina would never disappoint. Too excited now! My dear believers and spectators alike tend to get quite rowdy, and despite the noise, I've come to tolerate all their ruckus. You may consider this my reward to all of you. I have determined that there will be an epic duel between myself and this traveler from another land, just as you were hoping to see. Uh, now she wants to fight? Are we getting a little ahead of ourselves? Bring it on! Fighting gods, I've got a resume.
I was just kidding. I, that's a joke. Hmm? <laughs> Are you not afraid? Might I remind you that this is a duel against the divine? What are you trying to do, Traveler? Provoking a god in front of her people? I was just messing. I was, I was a joke. Ahem. Stand down, Clorend. I admire his bravery. Few have the courage to draw their sword against a god. He is obviously a true warrior. <laughs> Unfortunately, people nowadays only crave to be thrilled, and a mere duel will not slake their thirst for excitement. Oh, yeah, she's right. Just a duel wouldn't be all that interesting. You are easily swayed. <clears throat> On Araneus, criminals are always requesting duels to defend their honor. I'm getting a bit old, to tell the truth. You see... Then, as the god of justice, I shall face this traveler in another kind of duel. A duel in court! It's time to do 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 duel. Whoa, all right! Now that'll be worth seeing! Right, this is Fontaine, after all. With such a grand opera house, it would be a pity not to use it. Why do you care so much about the crowd's reaction? Seems you've spent a little too much time in the Opera House. Besides, how exactly do you plan to have a duel in court? You mean you're going to put us on trial? And we haven't committed any crimes. We literally just arrived here. Again. <laughs> oh, we have reason to put you on trial. It's obvious, isn't it? Uh, obvious? According to Fontaine Law, no one is permitted to release any flying objects within Fontaine city limits during the first three days of each month. You are clearly guilty of violating this law, no? I did shoot a few arrows. Oh, so that's what they've done wrong. Mm, that's our Lady Farina. No one knows the laws of Fontaine like she does. You call that obvious? What kind of law is that? Wait, flying object? <gasps> you mean Paimon? Uh, take her away? Precisely. Now, if you two have no objections, then in the name of the Hydro Archon, I order your arrest. My apologies, Lady Farina. I don't mean to spoil the fun, but if you would allow me to interject, I don't think that Paimon here meets the definition of a flying object. You tell her, Linny! Finally, someone who's not crazy! How could anyone call Paimon a flying object? Ah, great magician, Linny. My beloved citizen. I'll permit you to object. But how exactly do you plan to prove your claim? <laughs> As a magician who just rained on your parade, I naturally should shoulder the responsibility of saving the show. So, with such an audience gathered here, allow me to perform a trick for everyone. What did you do? Huh? Ta-da! What happened? What? What's that on Paimon's back? Hey, when did you do that? Ah, when Lenny patted you on the back. Time to go walkies, Paimon! There. As you can all clearly see, Paimon should be classified as, well, something like a balloon. This rope has been in the Traveler's hand all along. It was just that no one could see it before. Huh? <laughs> you call that magic? <laughs> You've got to be joking. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. Nice one. Huh. I'm not sure what to think. It seems Lady Farina's charges no longer hold water. <laughs> oh. 
What? What are you going to twist your way around now? Amusing. Very amusing, Minnie. Just the sort of unexpected twist that I enjoy. With you here, today's performance can finally be called complete. Performance? You see all this as a performance? In which case, consider the matter of your trial resolved. The god of justice will not bring charges against an innocent person. But when there are valid grounds, I will not only judge travelers from abroad, but even the gods of other lands. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of worrying. I look forward to seeing your upcoming performance at the Opera House, Mr. Linny and Miss Lynette. That's enough for now. Toodaloo! Toodaloo. Well, that was a hell of an introduction to Fontaine. Future Paimon. That whole scene just now was really. <sighs> I mean, thanks for bailing us out, Lenny. Did you know that was going to happen? Don't mention it. I just happened to remember that there was such a law, so I did a little preparation, just in case. I didn't think it would actually come in handy. So, now do you see what kind of god Lady Farina is? She can be a bit confusing at times, but she is still amenable to reason. Yeah. Confusing is a good way to put it. Is she really that... reasonable? Anyway, Paimon had no idea you were a magician, Linny. It sounded like you'll be performing at the Opera House, right? <laughs> I just know a few simple tricks I use to make a living. Lynette is my assistant. It will actually be my first time performing on the most prestigious stage in Fontaine, the Opera House. But isn't the Opera House where criminal trials are held in Fontaine? When there are no public trials being held, the Opera House hosts a variety of other performances. To the people of Fontaine, the line between a trial and a performance can be a little blurred. And speaking of performances, I would be remiss to forego this opportunity gifted by fate. Might I invite the two of you to see my performance? My brother's always excited to make new friends. Oh, sure. We don't really have anything to do now, and we wanted to go to the Opera House anyway. I would be delighted. Splendid. In that case, why don't we go together? I'll show you the way. I just have something to take care of first. Is there any way I can help? You know, repay the favor? Oh, you really mean it? Then I'll take you up on your offer. This is a magical item known as a magic pocket. Perhaps you can help me distribute them to the people here. It's a bag. Huh? What are they going to use it for? About that... Hmm... You asked me before about the prophecy, right? Let me start by telling you a little more about what it entails. I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy has been circulating around Fontaine. It says that every person in Fontaine is born with sin. No matter how the Nation of Justice holds trial after trial, this sin cannot be absolved. Until one day, the water levels in Fontaine will rise, and the sinful people will slowly be drowned. In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. That sounds pretty gloomy. Why are people in Fontaine born with sin? What is that supposed to mean? Hopefully it's nothing along the lines of Final Fantasy X. There are lots of guesses. 
Some say that the ancestors of Fontaine stole the power of the seas and stirred its wrath. Others say that the people of Fontaine never heeded the first Hydro Archon's warnings and offended Celestia. It could be the Honkai, because everything's the Honkai. But here in Fontaine, evidence is what matters. There hasn't been concrete evidence for any of these claims, so they can only be regarded as conjecture. If even the people in Fontaine don't know what sin they committed, wouldn't it be better just to ignore the prophecy completely? Why bother feeling guilty all the time? That's exactly what the people did at first. But in the last few years, the water levels in Fontaine have actually started rising. Rising? But now the water is engulfing our memories. It won't be long before it engulfs us. If it keeps rising, it's going to spill over into the desert in Sumeru, right? Hmm. Many places have already been completely submerged, and now lie beneath the sea. Many people carry on with their lives as before and shrug it off as a natural phenomenon. But my family and I think that the people of Fontaine shouldn't ignore the possibility, which would end up sentencing them to death. We hope that at least the people who reside near the waterfront can move away before it's too late. So, we've started distributing magic pockets to them. As a magical item, these magic pockets have astonishing capacity. I'm sure they will come in handy when people are moving their belongings. Oh, Hyman gets it! It's like preparing for a rainy day! But this is more than a bit of rain. Yeah, that it, it, it's in an entire lake, a giant lake, comparable to a sea. So yeah, a bit, bit more than a bit of rain. If this prophecy is true, then is there no way to prevent the disaster? Hmm. Perhaps only absolute power could ever contend with such a catastrophe. <laughs> But who knows, we're just tiny specks in the grand scheme of things. Now, if you'd like to help, then please give these magic pockets to anyone nearby. Be sure to convince them to take it, regardless of what they say. Oh. Very well. Let's distribute these then. Look at this. Nice bit of clockwork going on there. That's cool. What's this? Ah, so you also believe in the prophecy. <laughs> Keep it. I won't have any use for it. What? You mean you don't believe in the prophecy? No, no, I believe in the prophecy. But I also believe in another story. The story says that people once lived in the ocean. They were one with the ocean and couldn't live apart from it. But as time wore on, people desired to live on land and developed blood vessels, encapsulating the sea within their bodies. Thus could people set foot on land. So, if you ask me, when the water rises and takes us all, it'll be like we're going home. Oh, we hadn't heard that one before. But People can't live underwater. They'll die. You should probably still take it. <sighs> All right, I'll take it. I guess I just feel that being dissolved into the water doesn't necessarily mean death. Kind of does, though. But Anyway. But oh, wrong button. Honkai Star Rail's fault there. Muscle memory. We mentioned it before. So you're the blonde traveler that everyone's been talking about. My apologies for not recognizing you earlier. Oh, a magic pocket? Seems you really thought of everything. I guess it's better to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Thanks. Oh, please, also thank the magician on my behalf when you get the chance. I will do, I will do. So, one more. Oh no, I'm drowning! I'm dr- I'm fine. Ooh, on the boat. Boat captain. Huh? 
I don't want that thing. The way I see it, if the prophecy's true, it's still going to be a long time before the water can cover everything. Life is all about living in the moment. What use is there in worrying about the future all the time? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Yeah, that's a really bad way to look at things. You should still take it. You never know when it'll come in handy. Oh, all right, fine. Thanks. It's just that... If I start moving, that means I've already given up on the life I have now. I'd really rather not. Yeah, I get you, but... It, it, it sounds like it's going to be an issue. Right, so where... There you are. I can't wait. Oh? You already handed out all of the magic pockets? Hm. That was fast. So, what did people have to say? I bet you heard some... Uh, interesting opinions. I mean, stubborn doesn't even cover it, mate. Yes, but that will change once disaster strikes. I know they'll change their minds, so it's only right to help them prepare. Yeah, that's fair enough. Is there anything else you need to do before we leave? Yes, one last thing. I have the magic pockets made by a workshop in the Court of Fontaine. Since we're out and about, I was thinking about bringing him some more materials. So, you want to collect materials? Just tell us what the materials look like and we'll help! Many hands make light work! Oh, that would be much appreciated. We'll need some Romaritime flowers. I remember seeing them near the waterfront on the east side of the harbor. On the east side, right up. Go for that little gap there. Where are we looking? Oh! Oh, it could be several different things here. It seems we have to use Hydro to collect for maritime flowers. Oh, if only I had a Hydro character! No time to lose. There we go. Good job, I got a Hydro character! Lovely, lovely! You made quick work of that. I can tell you're an experienced traveler. I've also finished collecting a few here. Maybe next time you'll feel like helping too, Lynette. No way. I'm in power saving mode today. Otherwise, I fear I may not have any energy left for the performance at the Opera House. Ah, <sighs> fine. Though the performance is still a long way off. Now that we're finished here, we should get ready to head back to the Court of Fontaine. So, we're going to the Court of Fontaine before we head to the Opera House? Good. Paima wants a tour of Fontaine's largest city and try... Okay, bye. Wait, shh. Have you noticed that person over there? The young girl. Huh? What's wrong with her? Paima didn't notice anything. <laughs> She's obviously a thief. Oh yes, obviously. Magicians and thieves practice similar methods. We divert attention and a distracted audience is one that won't discover what you're really doing. Watch her movements carefully. I mean, try not to look suspicious. Oh, he's right! Shh, keep your voice down. We need to think of a way to catch her, but it seems she's very alert. Perhaps we should split up. Mayhaps. You two can ride the lift over there and wait up top. I bet that'll be her escape route if she tries to run. Leave it to me. All right, let's go. All right, go to the top. It's like, well... Uh, there we go. This is the spot where Linny wanted us to wait. There she is. Oh, look! Isn't that her? Get ready to stop her. Oh no! Did she notice us? She started running the other direction! What should we do? Should we chase her? Clearly. Our job is to block this path. The rest is up to Linny. Uh, you're right. She might also be trying to lure us away. 
You wait, but there's no sign of the thief. Nothing's happened for a while now. Paimon wonders if Linny caught the thief. Seems there's no reason for us to stay here. Let's go find Linny. Yeah, let's go. Oh no. Linny, where are you? Are you sure that's all she took? You should check to make sure you're not missing anything else. N no, that was all. Oh, I can't thank you enough. I didn't notice a thing earlier. Anyway, I should be going now. Thanks again. Oh, were you returning with the thief at stolen? That's right. Pity I wasn't able to catch her. She distracted me by dropping the thing she stole on the ground. By the time I looked back, she was already gone. I saw the general direction she went, but Linny twisted his ankle, and I needed to make sure he was okay. And is he okay? Because, ooh, twisted ankles. Painful. Oh, did you get hurt, Linny? I'll be alright. It's just a twisted ankle, that's all. In fact, it's feeling better already. If you want to play at being a hero, at least try not to get hurt doing it. Imagine what would happen if you managed to derail our performance as a result. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Sorry, Lynette. <sighs> I have to admit that the thief was even more skilled than I had anticipated. I mean, where could they have gone? But at least we were able to get the stolen items back, so it wasn't a complete failure. What a slippery little thief! Turned out all right in the end, though. Lenny's initiative paid off! Alright, let's put this little detour behind us. We should go to the Court of Fontaine now. Well, we'll end this part here, then in the next part we'll ride the Aquabus again. Ta-da for now.